Hey y'all, we're gonna be talking bok choy. Um, this is big bok choy. We've done baby bok choy before. We have other videos for that, so find that if that's what we're working with. Um, but this is large bok choy. And um, as you can see, it's pretty large, especially compared to the baby. Sadly, I don't have a little one to compare it to, but the babies are more like this size. Uh, you know, you might use different sizes for different reasons, but this recipe, or the recipes we're sort of doing to this week, call for large bok choy because we want more of this white part of it. Um, it can be a little bit more difficult to deal with only because it's bigger, but it's not that hard. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this end off. We don't want all that, all that jazz. Let's take that off. And then from here, there's all kinds of stuff you could do with this. You know, I could take it as a bunch like this and just start slicing down, but really the easiest thing for me to do is gonna be to take it, if I can get it to work for me, um, cut it down the middle and have it like that. And then again, from there, from that half, I could now decide to cut it down the way, but really the best thing, so you have it and then quarter it now I have it in even more manageable pieces. And so again, I could leave it like that. I could just have it quartered. That could be, that might be where we're done. But most likely, more often than not, when we're using it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quarter it, and now we're gonna slice it. So you see these are more manageable pieces. These are more, you know, closer to bite-sized pieces, as it were, so that as you're cooking it, it cooks quickly, evenly, and you don't have to you know, fight it with your knife by the time you get to eating it. It almost looks a little bit like celery, in some ways, the shape of it. And I'm just gonna keep chopping, and I'm going all the way up the leaves, because I want the leaves, too. That dark green leafiness, there's lots of lovely nutrition there and flavor. So that's what to do with this large bok choy and how to kind of manage it and make it more useful in your recipe. So that's one quarter. I'm gonna finish the rest of the quarters, and uh, that's it for today.